must have left the switch on. An electronics engineer, a radar officer, a mathematician and systems analyst, a radar operator, a couple of plotters. People doing a job well, efficiently, serious, having fun, doing a job. Situation, normal, for the moment. Eighth, the seventeenth of the month. Sky, cloudy, overcast. Visibility limited. Time, 1332 hours. A significant moment in history. The moment when an electronics engineer named Mitchell McAfee saw something in the sky. Something that was almost the beginning of the end of life on this earth. McAfee recorded instantly by radio the sighting of a UFO, an unidentified flying object. The radar officer replied that it was impossible. According to the radar scope, except for Mitch's plane, there wasn't a single solitary object of any nature whatsoever. Nothing in the sky for a radius of hundreds of miles. McAfee didn't care what the radar showed or didn't show. He knew what he saw with his own eyes, and he was determined to get a better look. McAfee turned, and so did the unidentified flying object heading toward him. There was no mistaking the urgency in McAfee's voice. Something, he didn't know what, but something as big as a battleship had just flown over and passed him at speeds so great he couldn't begin to estimate it. Well? Well what? Well, it's not play games, Major. Did you men find it? Mr. McAfee, if you were in uniform, I'd have you under arrest and facing general court-martial charges. Unfortunately, you're a civilian, and I can't touch you. By the time I get through with you, Mr. Electronics Engineer, you'll be lucky if they let you test batteries for flashlights. Look, Major Bergen, I was flying a final calibration flight. I spotted a UFO, I reported it. Does that make me a criminal, a traitor to my country, or some kind of a psychopath? McAfee, you're an electronics man, an expert on radar. Sure, that's what they pay me for. If there was something in the air, something flying, that you could see, would radar pick it up? Well... Yes, Would but... radar pick it up, yes or no? Yes. There were three radars on you. Every minute you were in the air, not one of them, not one, saw anything but you. Look, and Major... you were told this. You knew it. Nevertheless, you persisted with your little joke. Easy now, Bert. You continue to yell wolf until somebody pushed the panic button and scrambled a flight of interceptors.